Hi, my name is Mike Kai. I'm a member of the IBM Worldwide Competitive Migration Team. Our team's mission is to resolve the concerns of customers that are considering the migration of their Java EE applications from competitors' application servers to WebSphere. In the past years, our team have helped numerous customers from around the world to benefit from the WebSphere platform through our no-cost migration services. These comprehensive no-cost migration services include ballpark estimates, migration assessments, POCs, and enablement trainings. Today, I'm here to introduce to you our new online WebSphere migration discovery tool. This tool can be used to obtain anonymously a ballpark estimate for your migrations to the WebSphere platform. That includes migration to the WebSphere application server, also known as WAS Classic, or to the WAS Liberty profile, or to the WAS Liberty on Bluemix. This ballpark estimate is the first step in the IBM migration methodology. It is calculated based on IBM migration experiences and historical data, and it provides initial insight into the size and scope of the migration, which is ideal for budget assumptions and planning. Using the WebSphere migration discovery tool is simple and straightforward. Just answer a few questions regarding the application you want to migrate and the environment they are hosted in, and you're done and ready to review the estimates. Now I'll take you through a quick demonstration of the WebSphere migration discovery tool. To access the WebSphere migration discovery tool, simply go to ibm.biz slash migration discovery in your browser. This will bring up the main page of the tool. On the left is the introductory text. It includes some high-level information on how the tool works and what are the required fields. It also reminds the user that some technical details of the application and the environment is needed to complete the questionnaire portion of the discovery. Someone with technical familiarity with the application can probably answer these questions quickly. A link to the IBM privacy statement and policy is also included here. However, no name or contact information is required to use our tool. On the right is the main questionnaire form for the discovery. At the top is a progress bar showing you how far along you are with the questionnaire. Below that is the first set of general questions. I'll use the metrics captured from a recent migration discovery our team performed for a major healthcare service provider. All fields here are optional except the description field, which will be used as a report name. The tool assumes WAS Classic as the target server by default. However, for a more accurate estimate, please select a specific source and target server. Also, check yes on the last question if IBM assistance is required during production rollout for the migrated application. This will add assistant estimates to the final report. Click next when this portion of the questionnaire is completed. The next set of questions are the installation questions. As a part of the process to migrate your applications to WebSphere, the application server installations they are currently deployed on will also have to be migrated. These will include installations for development, testing, production, and others. As such, some installation information must be gathered for our estimates. Additionally, you'll need to classify these installations as low, medium, or high complexity. As a general guideline, a low complexity installation refers to a standalone server installation on a single host. Dependent services external to the application, such as database or other web services, may be hosted separately. This is typical of a development environment. The medium complexity installation will be distributed, where different components of the applications are installed on separate hosts. For instance, having a separate web server to low balance requests across multiple standalone servers. This kind of installation may contain multiple hosts, or nodes, without clustering, which is typical of a functional test environment. Finally, the high-complexity installation will be a fully clustered environment 
usually a production environment or similar mirrors. Please review the section text and the instructions below each field on how to classify each of your installations in more detail. This healthcare service provider we worked with recently had one low complexity development environment, one medium complexity environment for testing, and two high complexity environment for their QA in production. Click on Next to proceed. The third section of the questionnaire contains the application questions. For our estimation purposes, we look at the applications in terms of the number of deployable archives they contain. These are the WARS, EJB jars, resource adapter RARs, and application client jars. Just as with the installation questions, you'll need to classify these archives into their respective complexity levels. As mentioned earlier in this video, this is where a technical resource with in-depth understanding of the application can help speed up the classification process. Click on the question mark icon next to each complexity level to view the technologies that each deployable can leverage for that complexity level. As a general guideline, low complexity deployable archive leverages mostly basic web application technologies, such as GSPs and servlets, and some of the latest web service technologies like JAXWS and JAXRS. It does not use any of the more advanced JEE features such as EJBs, JCAs, JMS, or any proprietary APIs. The medium complexity deployable archive leverages more advanced web technologies such as JSF without CDI and J2E technologies such as EJBs and JMS. It may have some moderate usage of the complex JEE technologies like CMP beans or JMX beans and some third-party or proprietary APIs. The high complexity deployable archive leverages all types of web and JE technologies, as well as proprietary APIs without limits. Please review the technology characteristics for each classification and compare with your application carefully to determine the correct complexity levels. For this customer, we had an application consisting of two simple complexity web archives containing mostly JSPs and servlets. They also have one medium complexity EJB jar with mostly stateless session beans, and one high complexity EJB jar containing numerous CMP beans and some MDBs. Click Next to continue. The last section of the questionnaire is the testing questions. By default, user can use IBM historic data to estimate the testing efforts required for their migration, which is calculated with regard to the application characteristics entered in the application questions section. If test effort information is available, user can uncheck the Use IBM Historic Data option to review additional form fields. Please note that the input fields for the functional and non-functional testing efforts are to be entered in number of days for the duration of testing. For example, if your functional testing requires your test team two work weeks to complete, you will enter 10 in the functional test field, likewise for the non-functional testing data field. For this customer of ours, their testing plan involved many enterprise components, so they chose to use the IBM historical data to validate their numbers for this application. At this point, we have completed the questionnaire and are ready to see our migration discovery estimates. Not too hard, right? Just click on Submit button now to see the estimate report. The migration discovery estimate report comes in several sections. The first section recaps the information provided. At the top is an aggregated view of the numbers provided in the questionnaire. This information will be available in all sections as a reminder. Below it, are the details and breakdown numbers and also a graphical view of the distribution of application and installation complexity. Hovering on various section of the donut chart will give you more details. Clicking the next button will take you to the details of the ballpark migration estimate. The top portion provides the overall estimate, range, and deviation. The table in the middle of the page lists the broken down activities that are included in the estimate. 
Finally, the charts at the bottom gives a visual representation of the table, allowing you to easily identify where the key effort areas are in the migration effort. Continuing to the next section, we'll see the scope, or simply put, what is and is not included in this estimate. The assumption section lists some of the assumptions we make in our formulas in order to derive this estimate. One key thing to note here is that the effort estimate provided here is a combined effort. This means that IBM works in conjunction with the customer. In other words, this ballpark estimate includes both sets of hours, not just for IBMs. You may want to contact your sales rep or click the email link here to contact our team directly for a free detailed cost estimate of your application migration. Our contact information is provided later in this video also. The next section of the report is the timeline and prerequisites. Generating a timeline is a feature that is currently work in progress. It is complex and requires additional inputs. So for now, please contact your sales rep or our team directly to obtain a free migration consultation. The prerequisite section lists some key planning and preparations that should be achieved before any migration activity begins. The methodology section presents a high-level overview of the IBM migration methodology and process. The initial discovery call phase is aimed to provide the same ballpark estimates as addressed by this online web share migration discovery tool. However, for customers with special needs or significantly large implementations, our migration specialists can provide a more tailored estimate report. The migration assessment phase entails an on-site deep dive assessment of the customer's applications through an in-person discussion of the application and source code reviews. Our migration specialists will then produce a detailed cost estimate along with the migration challenges that you will face and solutions to them. The technical accelerator phase represents our POC efforts, where our migration specialist will migrate one or two representative customer applications to demonstrate the migration process and provide knowledge transfers. Finally, planning achieved during discovery and assessment phase and knowledges and skills built during the POC phase can be applied to the full migration phase where all assets are moved to the WebSphere platform. Our worldwide competitive migration team specialists can perform the discovery, assessment, and POC phase of the migration process at no cost for qualified customers. Customers can also engage IBM migration SMEs during the full migration phase to support or perform any or all migration tasks. Our migration SMEs have extensive migration experiences with a variety of application server platforms and application types. Their skills can ensure a smooth and successful migration to the WebSphere platform. At last, we are at the next step section. This page provides links to information about our worldwide competitive migration team and links to our contact information. This page also provides links to several expert resources on the topic of migration to WebSphere. This concludes the demonstration for the online WebSphere migration discovery tool. This tool will help initiate you on a successful migration to WebSphere. Here are links to some additional helpful WebSphere migration resources. Again, feel free to engage us the IBM Worldwide Competitive Migration Team through your IBM sales representative, or reach out to us directly at wascmt at us.ibm.com. Thank you for watching this video.